Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a backpack workout and all you need is an old backpack and some books. So I've had um, a bunch of books laying around at home from school and I just used those and my daughter's backpack, so don't make fun of me, <laughs> my cool Snoopy bag. But uh, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now for strength training. And right here I'm just showing you a couple of different ways to hold the bag um, while you're doing your exercises. So I'm going to start off with some kettlebell swings. And since I am shorter, I did adjust the straps as short as they can go. Um, you'll see me kind of mess with them a little bit and try to change the way I hold them um, to be able to work with any exercise that uh, I'm going to be doing. So I know a lot of people don't have access to weights or you know a lot of people don't feel comfortable going to the gym and um, as for me I kind of just I can't find any weights anywhere so I've just kind of come up with different ways that I can still get my strength training in um, and there you see I'm, I kind of loosened the straps a little bit so I have enough slack to wrap my hand around them and it seems to work for me so I hope that this is helpful. Um, to you all and I'm going to be doing some uh, front squats so I have my head looking up my arms as parallel as they can be uh, and you just do them like you would on any normal squat rack or um, using a bar it's pretty much the same thing so the substitution of using the backpack is pretty good it's effective um, and you can remove the books, you can add more books, depending on the size of your bag um, and your strength. And so here I'm just taking a break because it does get, it's, it's really good. I like, I like using this, this uh, working out from home and trying different ways to come up with different ways to get my strength training in. So I've been doing a lot of like going for walks or runs to get my cardio in. Um, there's lots of other different ways you can do that. You can go, like I said, go for walks with your kids or go for bike rides, um, go to the track, maybe run a little bit, get some fresh air. Being inside is uh, gets a little boring. I know for me, even working working out in my home got a little, um, a little boring for me, so I needed to change the scene and try to come up with a way that I could go outside and do some of this. Um, some of the workouts. So there's just a front front view of doing some front squats. And for each of these exercises, I did uh, my first my first set. I did 10. The second one I did 10. Third one I did eight. So you can alternate or vary based on your physical conditioning. Um, you can do three to four sets. You can do 10, eight, six, and four, or 10, 10, 10, eight. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you and your phys physical capabilities. And this one I'm just doing some lunges. It was pretty tough. I mean, I doing running, going for a run and then coming back and then doing some strength training has been pretty uh it's it's awesome though. It feels really good. So I hope some of this um some of these tips help you guys out. I'm going to try to upload some more videos of using some stuff around the house as weights. I kind of test them out, see how they do, and then try to help you guys out if there's any ways I can either make it better or come up with different exercises for you guys. So I hope you all are staying safe and um, staying healthy. It's a little bit tough, but this is one of the ways that you can change up your routine in working out. And then just doing some wall push-ups. You can do these inside, outside, whatever works for you. And I hope this video was helpful to you all that needed something else don't, or don't have weights or can't get to the gym. And I hope you all have a nice day. Thanks for watching.